and we'll keep the question for later, okay? Uh, I may invite uh, Dr. Tamer Khafagi uh, for his uh, really binary technique of uh, patient modified fenestration for EVA and TVAR. Raymond, uh, we'll talk today about uh, physician modified TVAR, how we do it. The preoperative planning, uh, we have uh, CTA with uh, 0.6 millimeter slices and 3D reconstruction. Review of CTA of the case with cook stuff for sizing and planning. It should be done by at least three experienced vascular surgeons in a hybrid room. This is our hybrid room at uh, Mansoura Cardio Thoracic and Vascular Surgery Center. We use uh, materials like sheaths, uh, six French and eight French sheaths. Six French and seven French uh, long cheese, six French and seven French uh, high flex answer cheese, 45 centimeter and 55 centimeter long, and also 24 French cheese, uh, 30 centimeter long. We use multiple casters, wires, and we use one balloon, uh, 10 millimeter diameter by uh, two centimeter length. Why we do this? Uh, this permit incorporation of the visceral arteries enabling an adequate proximal sealing zone without compromising successful aneurysm exclusion when there is short neck, ectatic uh, and thrombus laden neck, also a posterior bulge of the neck and conical and reversed conical uh, neck. Why we do this? Physician modified uh, fenestrated stent grafts have been utilized to treat high risk patients who have a vortex diameter of visceral segment less than uh, 30 millimeter uh, diameter, so it is not candidate for T branch cook device. Would not have an access to a manufactured uh, fenestrated centigraft uh, plus a very high cost as the situation in Egypt, and also sometimes uh, who cannot await the time period required for device customization because of embedding or uh, contained rupture and rapidly expanding or excessively uh, large aneurysm, as the case in Europe. Our case uh, was male patient, 72 years old, diabetic and hypertensive, fragile patient under investigation for critical lower limb ischemia and accidentally discovered abdominal aortic aneurysm. The infrarenal aortic neck was very short, 8 mm. There was posterior bulge of the neck and also the space between the SMA and the left renal about 2 mm. This is the, the aneurysm, about more than 6 cm in diameter. The planning and sizing, we have uh, planned to use uh, body, uh, 22, uh, 28 mm diameter. Uh, 111 millimeter length and the left limb 16 millimeter diameter and 19 millimeter length and the right limb uh, 20 millimeter diameter and 19 millimeter length. The planning uh, and sizing uh, the central line of flow is used for length measurements with each vessel marked in the middle of the ostia and analysis of the axial location is identified using uh, clock position. Uh, so we uh, use the central lines for the length and we use the central point of the vessel to mark the vessel and the clock position to mark the angle of the vessel. The measurement of the arc length is made from uh, 12 to the center of the vessel on the aorta. Inner vessel diameter if the graft is larger than the aortic uh, segment. If the graft is smaller than the aortic segment, we use a corrected arc. We corrected arc, in this case, the diameter of the stent minus one is used as the inner vessel diameter. This is the chart we use it for this case. You can see that the SMA has 12 o'clock and all the vessels angle are measured according to the SMA and also can uh, see the distance of uh, the middle of the fenestration to the top of the graft, the celiac about uh, 21 millimeter, the SMA 41 millimeter uh, from the top of the graft, 
the right renal uh, 56 millimeter and the left renal 50 millimeter in length and this is the diameter of the target vessels and this is the arc measurement from uh, the SMA to each uh, vessel you can see uh, how the creation of the fenestration which was done by ophthalmic bougie and after uh, we do the four fenestration we do marking of the edge of this fenestration by uh, tip of uh, the wire uh, which we use in this case but in another case we can use um, coil or even snare uh, for marking of the uh, fenestration also, uh, we do marking of the middle line anterior by radio opaque wire tip. This is uh, after we do uh, the diameter reducing ties to construct uh, this graft. So the graft open uh, by uh, two stages. Firstly, we open the graft, and after we do positioning of the branch, we can open the diameter reducing ties. This video show how uh, the, the when the wire is extracted how the diameter reducing ties open as this video show after the diameter reducing tie we can restrict the graft by silk sutures and nylon tape so we can reduce it inside its sheath When we go to do the patient, we do multiple sheath axes, we do exposure of both axillary arteries, we put 7 French sheaths in the left axillary artery and 6 French long sheaths in the right axillary artery. We do exposure of the both femoral arteries with, with 8 French sheaths in both femoral arteries. We do a selective target vessel catheterization from uh, the left and right uh, sheaths in the upper limb. Uh, this pre-cannulation is done for marking of the branch vessels. So, through the seven French sheets in the left axial artery, we put a uh, commando uh, 0 0.18 wire in the right renal artery, and we put Turumo uh, 0 0.35 wire in the SMA. And uh, in th through the six French sheets in the right axial artery, we put Trumo uh, 0 0.035 wire in the left renal artery. Device orientation and deployment. We do uh, device and orientation by the marks on the branches and also we do the anterior and posterior by the wire uh, on the anterior surface of the graft. After this uh, device orientation, we open the device until the gate open. Then we uh, pass a wire through the gate and to put 24 uh, French sheaths inside the gate. This 24 French uh, sheaths, this big sheath, was, uh, was used to put three long sheaths in each quarter and also a wire in the fourth quarter. Uh, the target vessel catheterization was done through the fenestration from inside the graft. We pass through the fenestration, then we pass uh, the wire and cutter, and then exchange this wire and cutter by rosin wire and by high flex long sheath inside each branch of uh, the vessel. We do catheterization of the SMA, right renal and left renal, but we don't do catheterization of the celiac artery. This is how it looks like with the three sheaths inside each branch vessel. Uh, but no, not everything go as you wish. When we uh, inject contrast inside the graft, we can see the celiac, the SMA, the left renal, but we cannot visualize contrast in the right renal. So uh, we uh, push, uh, we uh, give, uh, extract the graft uh, for about uh, two or three millimeters downwards. So, uh, after this, we can see the contrast inside the right renal artery. We do a removal of the safety wire to open the diameter reducing ties and to open the top cap to open the barbs and fix the device. After fixation of the device, we do sequential target vessel stenting and balloon flaring. We put a stent inside each vessel 
and we leave about uh, four or five millimeter of the stent inside the aorta so we can do flaring of this stent by the 10 millimeter uh, balloon to fix it to the fenestration after uh, we do deployment of the two extension limbs as usual and this is the final angiogram we can see uh, there is no endoleak and all the branches are well ovacified and also distal in the iliacs there is no leak and also the uh, each vessel uh, is well ovacified and this is uh, the post-operative uh, CTA after one month we can see uh, the graft in its place and all the grafts in the branches also in in place with uh, good opacification of all the visceral branches thank you very much thank you dr Temer. and now with libidema shaping the future by professor yasser musbahar kairon